Hi friends good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. And for all of you I pray that God fulfill all your dreams and give you lots of happiness. And my dear friends every time I try my best to give you all latest news. Therefore, you are requested to sit tight on your seats and enjoy the latest news. In a significant step toward bolstering Iraq's financial sector, EU delegation to Iraq Chargé d'Affaires Mr. David Healy has expressed support for the launch of the Central Bank of Iraq's CBI National Strategy for Bank Lending for 2024-2029. This strategic initiative, developed under the EU and Germany co-funded project, Strengthening Public Finances and Financial Markets in Iraq FFM, and implemented by the German Agency for International Cooperation GIZ, aims to provide robust support to private sector enterprises across the nation. Mr. Healy commended the comprehensive vision of the strategy, highlighting its potential to effectively coordinate various tools essential for driving positive change within Iraq's banking and financial landscape. The initiative represents a concerted effort to strengthen the country's economic framework and promote sustainable growth through enhanced financial mechanisms. In the Central Bank of Iraq's total sales of hard currency during the days the auction opened last week amounted to more than $1 billion, exceeding more than $5 billion during the month of May. Shafak News Agency correspondent stated that the Central Bank sold during the past week and for the five days in which the auction was opened, $1 billion. 328,251,000, and $675, at a daily rate of 265,650,000, and $335, lower than what it recorded last week, which it reached 1,377,611,000, and $20. The highest dollar sales were on Tuesday, when sales amounted to 283 million, 73,000, and $871, while the lowest sales were on Thursday, when sales amounted to $269 million, $299,000, and $132. Our correspondent indicated that foreign remittance sales during the past week amounted to $1 billion, $328 million, $251,000, and $675, an increase of 90% compared to cash sales which amounted to $132,825,000 and $167. Our correspondent explained that the sales were in the form of cash and transfers abroad to finance foreign trade, while the selling price of documentary credits and international settlements for electronic cards reached 1,310 dinars per dollar, and the selling price of transfers abroad was 1,310 dinars per dollar while the cash selling price reached 1,305 dinars per dollar. dollar. Meanwhile, economic expert Nabil Al-Marsumi said on the Facebook platform, the central bank's sales last May amounted to $5.8 billion, which is a large amount that means that 70% of oil revenues were used to cover private sector imports and citizens' travel. He added, when we add to this amount the government's imports, the expenses of oil licensing companies, and the government's foreign obligations, including foreign debt installments, all of which are paid in dollars, the matter becomes worrying, because that means that the foreign reserves of the Central Bank of Iraq have begun their downward path, adding that, what, the situation is made worse by the possibilities related to an increase in external debt, an increase in imports, or a decrease in oil prices. Thanks take care.